The man who does not read has no advantage over the man who can't read. Mark Twain. In this video, I'm going to cover the five books that are going to help transform you from an average procrastinating student, letting your potential die with you, to the A star exceptional student that has mastered studying, that has mastered discipline and good habits. And that's why I decided to work with motivation to study to find out what are the most important books for students to read. And it doesn't matter what age you are or which type of student you are, whether you're in school, college, university, or you're just a lifelong learner. These books are going to help you no matter where you are. And these books have been picked to help you with the common problems you all face that we see in the comments of these videos. Procrastination, laziness, low energy, distractions. So how do you become productive? And what are the books that are going to help you to stop that laziness and activate and unleash that potential inside you? And the first book is Mastery by George Leonard. This is a book that is going to draw on Zen philosophy and help you with the lessons from martial arts to understand what is the journey going to be like? The journey of mastery, what does it look like? Because when you understand the path that you are going to be walking, you're able to navigate the pitfalls, you're able to escape the traps that 90% of the other people are going to fall into so that your path immediately becomes easier. The second book is relatively new and it's by James Clear and the book is Atomic Habits and he presents an easy and proven way to build effective good habits with the least amount of effort and the highest amount of reward. And one of the key principles that James Clear talks about is you need to find out what your minimum viable habit is and that means when you're trying to create a habit of waking up early and studying in the morning, don't try to do the most complex thing first. Instead, think about what the simplest starting point could be. What is the minimum viable habit? What is something that is so easy to do? You could do it in just two minutes. And then from there, keep increasing it. Keep graduating those habits just like you graduate in the classroom until you go from two push-ups a day to a thousand. The next book is one by the motivational master Eric Thomas. The book is The Secret to Success. It's a short book, it's a straight to the point book, it's punchy, it's motivating. It's everything that you would expect from E.T. And it's going to help you to understand, one, the journey that Eric Thomas took to go from a high school dropout to an internationally renowned best-selling author. But it's also going to help you to understand the steps and the principles that Eric used to become the person that he is today. The next book is one called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Now, we all know being a student on the surface seems easy, but in practice can be difficult. When you're sat there in the library and you're flicking through your phone one extra time, looking at Instagram or any other social media, how do you stay focused and how do you stay creative? Well, in this book, Elizabeth Gilbert goes through the process of how fear and creativity work and how the two of them influence your work. And alongside this, the next book is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And in this book, he talks about the difference between the amateur, the part-time player who shows up when they feel like it, which some of you are the part-time player. You revise when you feel like it. You give 110% when you feel like it. You'll put your hand up in class when you feel like it. And in between the amateur and what Stephen Pressfield calls the pro is resistance. Now you can use the word resistance, you can use the word procrastination, you can use the word distraction. 
but it all references the same obstacle. But how do we get past that? These two books are going to help you to do exactly that. Let's think about why should you even read in the first place? Why is it something that is going to help you? Now, this is from somebody who I never used to read. When I was at school, despite the encouragement of teachers, despite even knowing that it is something I should do, I could never bring myself to actually do it. So what was the difference? I'm now in a position where since I've left university, since I've left school, college, my education behind, I actually study and read more than ever before. And the thing that has really helped me to make that transformation, to take that leap, has been to look at it not just as reading, but as having a meeting with the author. So whether you admire Eric Thomas, Gary Vaynerchuk, or any of these other self-help gurus, imagine when you are reading, you're spending one-to-one -one time with that author. Now this might not be true, but that person, that individual, over decades of experience has sat down, taken notes on the most important things that they've learned, and then structured it so that you can take that shortcut. So the question is not why should you read, the question is really which books should you read? And the problem is there are so many books out there and they are not all created equally. So you could be reading, but are you reading productively? There's actually another four books that I wanted to include, but the video is getting extra long. So if you want to find out what those are, go to the link in the description and you can download a free PDF to find out what they are. And if you want to know, are you fulfilling the potential that you have as a student? Are you a dabbler? Are you a master? Or are you the shipwrecked castaway? Click on the link in the description and you can take the free quiz that will help you to find out. But other than that, have you read any of these books? Which book are you most excited to learn? And what lesson do you most need to learn? Because a lot of people ask me, which book should I read? Well, what do you need to learn? What is the next step that you need to take? What, where are you stuck with your studies? Because that will determine the education that you need. This was Geshev Butt for Motivation to Study. Peace.